Perks for weekend pagans While you were out at the road like stones I came and set fire to your shed Cause you probably work at an all night garage You probably work at an all night garage You probably work at an all night garage And talk radio on And you curse my soul cause I don't want petrol You curse my soul cause I don't want petrol I only came down Sour cream and onion, there is no such thing as sour cream and charge Pringles, apparently. I didn't know that, I found that out two weeks after I'd written it, but I thought, sorry, it is. Give it time. But it didn't actually happen, so it embarrasses me greatly. Anyway, it takes an instant dislike to me because I don't just want fuel, I want something else. I don't even want fuel, I want something else. That entails him going to another part of the shop with another key which he can't at first find. Eventually he does after about two minutes of fumbling around in his pocket. There's a little smash key for him. And he comes back <laughs> and he chucks him into the tray that divides us and says two pound ninety-six. How much? Instead of saying that'll be two pound forty, say even, even that's a bit steep, I do realise, but I just work here. But, uh, you know, do come again if there's anything else you need to know. But he doesn't do that, obviously. He does, he does this silly bus driver thing of uh, wanting to annoy me, really. Uh, for no reason, I've been quite reasonable. Uh, but obviously, has the, you know, the opposite effect of amusing me no end. And all of a sudden, I've got loads of other things to buy and all night in which to buy them. <laughs> You're holding the line up, sir. Well, it's not a line, it's a queue. And uh, it's okay, they're all Quakers. <laughs> so they're more than okay with it. And guess what they'll be asking for? Oh, 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 and look, look who's coming along. It's local eccentric Ziggy Sawdust. <laughs> One can only think of what delights he's going to ask you for. Remember last time? Tin of alphabet spaghetti with the vowels taken out. <laughs> it's Polish. Ziggy Sawdust is Polish. He, he'd been to the opticians earlier that day and the optician said, can you read the bottom line? He said, read it and know him. <laughs> Tin of unleaded soup. He's going to ask you for that. He's going to ask you for an, an airwick freshener with the smell of cordite. <laughs> Stations of the crass, he may also ask you for. Intruder by the fucking guy. Oh, he's going to ask you also for. Uh, what else are you going to ask you for? Listen. Yeah, and he's also probably going to ask you for a Yorkie, a toffee crisp, and a copy of Razzle, but only if Pam Ferris is in it. But anyway, back to me. Two scotch eggs and a jar of marmite. Two scotch eggs and a jar of marmite. Two scotch eggs and a jar of marmite. What sandwiches have you got? Cheese. Cheese. Cobbler. Australia, there you see. Cobbler. Skiffy, yeah. Yeah, the joke about Skiffy. No. So anyway, he's getting really annoyed by now, which you probably would if I was there, I imagine. Uh, so the word search goes down, which means obviously business on his behalf. Clocking the word search there, Messerschmitt, Spitfire, <laughs> Renko, Liberator. And he moves his mug to one side, he's got a mug which, is, which has written on the mug, I heart my quacker thou. <laughs> And he hasn't even got a Kawasaki thousand miles to bike. But he has learned to cherish the mug. He's got one of those recycled old post office vans, the red, uh, the red Ford Escort to stay <laughs> on, which uh, he goes to work in every night. And in the dust, his work colleagues have written the usual, you know, wash me, um, also available in red. Um, I wish my wife was as dirty as this. They, they could have just actually written, I wish my wife existed. <laughs> Now 
I was really, 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 really upset with me and annoyed with me because I've done this for about two nights for the past ten years on it. <laughs> so the iPod comes off and I thought, Christ, he's going to hit me. <laughs> and uh, I could hear his iPod and thought, well, if I'm, you know, if he's, <laughs> I thought, he's going to death me, at least I've got a soundtrack to it. <laughs> but then the soundtrack kind of comes in. <laughs> Every rose has its thorn. <laughs> if I should leave here in the morning, finished with my woman, cause she couldn't help uh, me with, with my mama. tax. <laughs> Where are you all coming from? We got hound, we got cheese, we got chicken, we got bacon, lettuce, and tomato, we got tuna, sweet corn. We've got tuna sweet corn. I'll have ten kick cats and Martin Atlas, ten kick cats and Martin Atlas, and a blue CD on the home.